Now don't you just get curious about what other people carry in their everyday bags or gear bags? I know I definitely do. What's in my bag videos and tech bag videos are some of my absolute favorites to watch on YouTube and I just realized that I've never actually done one on my channel before so let's fix that. <laughs> I just got back from a trip and so you will see the natural state of the everyday slash travel bag that I carried with me um, along with my switch and so it is also my switch bag as well it is this one right here and it's probably even got a few gross uh little coffee splashes because um i wanted to keep it realistic for this video this was the bag that i chose to carry around with me in this trip i did bring um a couple other choices as well but while i do love switching up my bags for a daily carry and especially one that can fit a few of my everyday tech i do love to carry around a crossbody sling bag slash uh, fanny pack very very into that right now i'm embarrassed to admit how many fanny packs i own these days it's definitely become one of my favorites and this one is probably one of the largest if not the largest that i own as you might be able to see it is from adidas i will have everything linked down below if it is still listed online the model names and the prices and everything feel free to skip this part if you're not into bags and accessories but i definitely am when i'm watching these videos so if you're curious what I loved about this is that you can carry it as a shoulder bag as a belt bag as a sort of crossbody sling um, and it also comes with an extra strap that I don't have right now which lets you carry it um, hanging a little bit lower so jumping right in I really do like this bag right now especially the nude color I carry my phone in the back mesh pocket because I feel like it's just not going to fall out very easily and at the front I like to keep things that I want easy access to like a couple of pairs of sunglasses I usually just carry cheap ones because I always break or lose them hand sanitizer a must these days and I really like the spray version and this one is in lavender so it smells delicious though we thankfully don't need it as much these days anymore I still carry around a mask with me don't mind the dog hair, it's some um, dog mom stuff. <laughs> this is a game card case which I've shown on the channel before and I absolutely love because it looks like a Game Boy. Feel free to pause to check out which games I'm carrying around with me. Eye drops because I get dry eyes and allergies very easily. Unfortunately, this has to be around all the time. And onto the main compartment, you can still fill up this bag quite a bit, but I didn't want to overstuff it and carry something too heavy. The first thing and a very essential thing is hand cream. <laughs> this is the Shea Butter version from the body shop and I hate dry skin I hate dry hands so this is a must for me <laughs> I also carry the body butter version of it in my larger bags and speaking of moisture I also need it for my lips living in Canada especially I love the Carmex brand and I guess this was the lip combo that I wore a lot during the trip if you're curious tissues self-explanatory hair claw clip and hair tie also essential for someone with long hair it gets really hot very easily and this is the gum that i really like lately it's the excel soft chews super yummy and finally onto some tech right this is the ugreen portable power bank and i like carrying it because it's a bit more small and minimal compared to other power banks that i've used before it only has two outlets as you can see if my camera wants to focus <laughs> it has only one usb-c and one usb-a outlet and of course you can carry a power bank with you without a cable and this is the one that i like carrying because it has the trio of pretty much all of the cables that i need usb-c lightning cable and micro usb which covers all of the devices that i have with me while traveling and it's always ready to go like so 
wired headphones okay <laughs> i actually picked these up at a gas station during the trip i still like using wired headphones because sometimes i don't like messing with wireless connections but it does come in handy and the switch still uses a 3.5 jack but for listening to music or watching on my iPad, I do still prefer wireless earbuds. This is just a cheap pair that I have because I unfortunately tend to lose these, <laughs> but I still love my AirPods and that Happy Plugs pair that I shown on the channel before. My wallet is very uninteresting. I don't really carry much in here and I don't prefer having cash with me. I've had this $10 bill for maybe a year or two, still unused, but uh, you never know when you need cash, I suppose. And I also like seeing our Canadian Monopoly money. <laughs> But moving right along to the grand finale and probably what makes my switch bag a switch bag <laughs> it's the switch light and it's interchangeable with the switch oled but i do prefer traveling with the light uh, it's a little bit dirty don't mind i literally filmed this as soon as i got home from the trip and i played cult of the lamb a lot during that trip by the way but here are the other games that i'm really liking right now the shin chan game two point campus rune factory 5 centerblade 3 live alive just to name a few, and I also put in the physical copy of Nino Kuni 2, thinking that I would restart this game during the trip, but you know, it got busy, things happen, and Call of the Lamb pretty much took over for me, if I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I might want to pack along a pair of Joy-Con, whether I'm bringing a Switch Lite or a Switch OLED, if maybe I want to dock it on a big screen at the hotel or on a portable monitor, or if I'm might be playing a little bit of multiplayer with whoever I'm traveling with at the time. A pair of Joy-Con is always nice to carry along with you because it doesn't take up much room in your bag at all, but also depending on the game, these can act as two separate controllers like Mario Kart or Smash Brothers or other fun multiplayer switch games these are one of my favorite ones by the way i get asked by a few of you guys every time i have it on my switch these are the fun lab joy con and i will have it linked down below as well but i have a video coming up talking about my favorite third party switch controllers so if you're interested in that please keep an eye out. <laughs> oh, and of course, if you're liking this video, don't forget to like this video. And while you're down there, please consider subscribing if you're not part of this wonderful, casual, cozy gaming community already. I appreciate you. <laughs> So with the mention of docking at a hotel or with a portable monitor as well, I might bring along a portable dock with me if I was going on a longer trip. But for the most part, I do like traveling light, pun intended. I love the Switch Lite for that. So let me know down below what you carry in your Switch pack, if there are any necessities that you think I should check out or add to my next trip or even just as an everyday carry. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so, so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I will see you guys next time.